This is a Shimano Olivio uh, trigger type shifter. This is the left hand one. Uh, this had been stuck to where you go ahead and pull the trigger and there'd be like no resistance and it just wouldn't shift. I'm going to show you how to fix this. So I have removed off of the bike just to make it a little easier. Uh, but go ahead, there's this uh, little uh, bolt on the back here. It's a 10 millimeter bolt. Go ahead and remove it. And then there's a little tiny screw, a little tiny Phillips screw. So go ahead, and that's right here, so go ahead and remove that. And then this little cap comes off there. Be careful, do not lose that little screw, it's a little tiny screw, so don't lose it. Now this whole little mechanism will just pop out of here. Now what happens is there's like a little uh, paw, it's a little finger, and it'll get stuck. Um, with grease, the old grease uh, kind of gets dry, and the little paw, it's a little finger that uh, will go into the, the little gears, and it gets stuck and won't um, flip back. So what you need to do is clean out all the old grease. So take like a little bit of WD-40, and you'll just go ahead and spray it all into the mechanism. And WD-40 being a solvent, will help dissolve all the old grease. So now what we're going to do is go ahead just pop this back in here for now and um, and if you go ahead and kind of click through the uh, the uh, the gears and and when it's all kind of clogged up you may have to do this a little bit to kind of get it all worked in the W40 and get all that old grease out. Once you kind of get it working, go ahead and pull this back out. And we're going to dry this off. But WD40 being a solvent is not really a good lubricant. So what we're going to do is now to lubricate the whole thing, uh, use something I use like TriFlow. Um, just spray spray it all in there. Get it all nice and lubricated. Let me put this back in here. And, and get it work worked in real well. Okay, now we gotta put this back together. So to put this back together, um, first of all, there's this little ring here, this little plastic ring, and there's a little gap right here, like this, and that's going to match up with this little arm right there. So go ahead and posi position it over that way. Now there's the little pin for the indicator um, down here, and it's a little plastic pin and you want it to line up with this little hole right here. So that's about the trickiest part is to get it lined up. So when you go ahead and put this part back in, just go ahead and try to get it all lined up and set this, this whole part back in. And you'll feel it kind of fall down into place when you get it there. Um, now to test it, go ahead and you'll shift it. And if you look in the little window here, the little indicator window down here, you'll see the little uh, thing move. Shift it again, and if it moves, then you have the little pin in the hole there. Okay, and the little plastic ring seems to be locked into that there. So now we're going to have to put it back together. I left the little screw there, so that little where that little screw goes is go right in this little hole right there. So we'll set this back on. Tighten that little screw, and we'll put the little bolt back in. And there's a little washer, little looks like a little brass washer that goes on there, onto the bolt. Put that in there. Tighten this in. Just tighten that in, boom. So now if you go ahead and shift it, 
Boom. So let's go ahead and clean all this up, mount it back on the bike, and you're all set.